want to share with you one secret that can grant a man access to host the power of God. Jesus began to teach us on the mysteries of the kingdom and he said the hour has come listen very carefully that the son of man be glorified and then the very next verse he says verily verily i say unto you except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies the door that leads to life is death the door that leads to power is death more than your fasting more than your prayer more than your bible study the price for all of god is all of you more than your money more than your preaching more than your intellect you want all of god the price is all of you here's how paul says it chapter 12 and verse 1 romans i beseech ye therefore brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies not your spirits as living sacrifices holy unto god he calls it your reasonable act of worship the fire never falls until there is sacrifice upon the altar the men that God will use in these days are not just men of intelligence. They are not just preachers, not just men of oratory. Men who are dead. Only dead men can carry God. The weight of God is too heavy for you to carry in your life. You need to pass through a realm called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Madam, the anointing is on you. Look at me. Touch this woman for me. I don't know who this woman is. But I'm seeing this woman step into a prophetic dimension in the spirit. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. He says, the life that I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. No eye has seen, the Bible says, no ear has heard neither has it come into the heart of man that which god has in store not for prayer warriors not for fasting giants for them that love him not them that use him for fame not them that use him for a name death is the price for life Hear what I say, preachers. Nothing will ever cover the lack of the presence of God. Our pews will remain empty until we sustain the ability to host God. We need to present God to a generation in a way and a manner that is greater than preaching. It's a reality. It is for a generation. Then we will see his power once again we will not have to read books again to learn of his power we will be the evidence the living epistles a restoration of patterns like Gideon it will no longer be Ichabod where is the miracles that our fathers told us we will no longer speak of that proverb because we'll be living epistles of the possibilities and the realities of the spirit we will influence governments and systems the great will entreat our favor because we carry the charisma, the signature of the power the life the glory of god tonight i've come to blow a shofar over kenya and i've come to blow a shofar over africa it is true This convergence is an awakening for Africa that the season has come the season has come for that rejected stone to arise in power and glory in 2005 I saw a vision of the revival that will come to Africa I saw the anointing mantles living continents 
to different continents and I saw that mantle coming to Africa and hiding in people and places that they never knew they were already carrying it and God concealed it so that it does not corrupt their training because there are people if they know the grace that they carry it will corrupt their discipline so whilst you are sitting now you do not even know the kind of mantle and grace and unction that you carry it is sealed until the time appointed I saw the formation of the army I saw prophetic worshippers rising from Africa men who would write songs that were not composed they would sing the songs of Miriam songs of angels received from a realm that is not bound in time songs that could not die I saw ordinary people under the influence of the spirit nursing mothers that look like weak people in the spirit and the power of women like Maria Goodward Eater. I saw them with power arising from Africa. Tonight by the spirit of the Lord, before I leave your nation, let us give God an opportunity that that which has been locked up in the bowels of prophecy we will cry that he will rend the heavens tonight and let something that is holy and mighty come from heaven and rest upon our ministries and rest upon our lives we have only few minutes i'll be praying for people and minister will be very fast our time is gone but please let there be a desire tonight if you will please please listen to me keep whatever title aside for a few minutes and let your heart be open to contact something that a generation cannot deny the presence of God listen to me I do not stand as one who is greater there is an anointing I see an angel standing just at the back of um, Shalom there is the, that row I'm seeing an anointing just coming on someone I think one of the ladies there in the name of Jesus I declare right now please bring her here I want to prophesy to her there is a dimension of the psalmistry that this lady is stepping into by the Spirit of God bring her Jesus did the Bible not say you are come on to Mount Zion it's not just a testament it's a reality that you have come before the innumerable angels the spirits of just men made perfect unto Jesus the mediator of the new covenant please hear me I want to pray for you now but listen to me there are three ways by which a generation encounters the anointing for their destiny number one and I want you to listen very quickly you can get an impartation directly from God through your hunger and through your encounter but the biblical pathway is through the mystery that the Bible calls impartation please listen impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is the transference of spiritual possibilities the possibilities that you command are predicated on the grace the dimension the mantle that is upon your life now please watch this out of her now release that lady now in the name of Jesus out now the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is please hear me except God is not God any challenge that walk here with you this night you will drop it down here this place. impartation is a transference of possibilities now please watch this our walk with God is based on relationship 
but kingdom advance is based on covenant let me explain to you what that means god cannot give everybody just anoint everybody at the same time no when he wants to release a dimension of his possibilities on earth the way he does it is to find a man when he finds a man he enters a covenant with that man that becomes the platform for allowing a territory experience that spiritual possibility and then that man becomes his he, the gatekeeper of that grace within the lifespan of that dispensation no man will access that dimension of grace ignoring that man and ignoring his sacrifice let me show you how it works listen today when we talk about faith and the word of faith starts from anywhere in the world it will stop at kenneth copeland he is the spiritual system alive today after Hagen that is the gatekeeper of that spiritual possibility if copeland dies god will find another man and enter a covenant with him that represents the continuity of that dimension of possibility hear me please no matter how you love god there are anointings that will not come to you directly they will come to you in alignment to men and women that by God's predetermined counsel and through the sacrifice of alignment have entered a covenant that allows that dimension of grace to be visible within a territory hear me it is not human worship when he sends a word to Jacob it is because of Israel he does not send the word to Israel he will send it to Jacob through covenant and Jacob will take it and make it visible in Israel Elijah was such a man Elijah was a body carrying a spiritual system a spiritual system of the prophetic because every time the move of God is about to come Elijah must precede Elijah is a system the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was in Noah not just a man Elijah when Jezebel the same way Jezebel is not just a woman Jezebel is an antichrist system and she seeks to carry out her rule by sitting in government every time Jezebel is in a place she's looking for men of power because this is how she operates and so Elijah the Tishbite shows up and when he shows up and judges the prophets of Baal listen very carefully Jezebel picks a fight with Elijah and Jezebel vows that she must remove the head of Elijah Elijah goes to heaven Jezebel dies we come back to the New Testament and we see Elijah coming back again in a strange man called John the Baptist we see Jezebel coming back again in a young lady called the daughter of Herodias the bodies disappear but the systems continue and just like Jezebel said the young lady danced before the king and he said what do you want and he said the head of John like I told him I will remove his head I'm still at it again please hear me human bodies may come and go but the system of God is a relay the mantles that come upon you will not start from you it's a continuation of a program the bodies that carry it may come and go but the agenda remains the same this is what God has brought us to do is someone ready to pray are there people that pray in this place please I'd like you to find someone and be serious tonight in the next two three minutes lift a cry to heaven father let something from heaven let the grace and the unction come upon my life transform my life your voice and pray Kenya
Can you pray? The power of the Holy Ghost turning our lives into signs and wonders. The power of the Holy Ghost shifting men by the spirit to new dimensions. The power of the Holy Ghost turning businessmen to signs and wonders. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. He said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Shall overshadow you. Man of God shall overshadow you. Businessman shall overshadow you. Someone pray, pray for your ministry. You are about to receive something. Some of you who travel from other nations pray that the fire of the Holy Ghost will come upon you and you will go back to your nations with signs and wonders.